SaaS versus high availability systems, ensuring uninterrupted service. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and welcome to Budapest and welcome to Hungary because I'm working here in Hungary uh, at the Szerencsé a uh, bit hard to pronounce in English. Uh, actually, it's the National Lottery and Sports Betting Company uh, in Hungary. And for a long time, a very long time, for 76 years, we've been the only legally operating uh, lottery and sports betting company uh, in this country. Uh, the first uh, lottery was Toto. I don't know if you if you know Toto. In some countries, there are Toto products. It's a kind of sports betting. It started in uh, 1947, and our, our national lottery started in 19. 57, 10 years uh, later. Uh, so the company is continuously operating for over 70 years uh, now. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, and, and this uh, uh, whole operation became digitized in the 21st century. So uh, there are some questions. The, <coughs> the title of this presentation is Software as a Service versus high availability systems, ensuring the continuous operation of our gaming products. Uh, there's a big transition as we enter the 21st century. Uh, like 70 years ago, 60 years ago, 50 years ago, uh, Hungary is a, ten, a country of 10 million people. Uh, there were, uh, on a weekly basis, there were like five, four or five million lottery tickets every week and there were, there were draws every week. And uh, in the company, we always say, I'm not working for the company for long. Uh, I've been working for the government before, building big IT systems, uh, big data lakes, and e-health, and, and treasuries, and, and so on. And uh, in, the, in the public administration, in the government, we say that, okay, the, the most important thing in the operation of the country, of the state, is building and keeping the public trust. And when I transferred to the, to the National Lottery Corporation, they told me that, okay, we are selling hope. That's the motto of the company, we are selling hope. When uh, there were the old draws of the lottery, and it was, uh, it was broadcasted on TV, live, people with tinfoil hats and so were saying that, okay, this is rigged. And now, when they don't even see uh, much of our games are still broadcasted live and, uh, and drawn uh, on TV, live, uh, not personally uh, since the COVID, but by machines. Most of the people still say that, okay, this is rigged. I can't see it, I can't, I can't see how it's made, it's rigged. Uh, but we have to sell them those products because there's a need uh, for these products and the thing they go and buy our products is the trust, is the hope that they can win it, uh, and, it's, and it's on us. Uh, so, from the IT perspective, this means that we have to ensure that our products, our systems are operating continuously. There are, there are no downtimes, there are no suspicious behaviors uh, in, the, in the systems. That's why uh, I was amazed when I transferred from, from the public administration where I saw big nationwide systems, the national e-health system, which is one of the most secure environments in the, in the, in the national IT infrastructure. I, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, it's kind of broken. Uh, I saw that, okay, wow, this is a great high availability infrastructure, not because it's the state and it has to go 24 seven, but because it's, uh, our only ways of keeping the business up for 70 years, so keeping up the hope and keeping up the operation. And from the other hand, we lose a ton of money if our systems aren't up. So I, I was amazed uh, entering as an IT director to, to a, a new company and seeing that, okay, I was, I was uh, battling with the old uh, public administration uh, systems to have uh, disaster recovery uh, protocols and business continuity 
uh, protocols, and they were all ready and done. We have uh, high availability clusters, uh, different sites uh, with, with redundant operations, because the show needs to go on, and it's a huge IT infrastructure, and it's a huge IT organization. Over 200, 220 people are working day to day to keep this up. Uh, in the 21st century, uh, all these uh, systems, all these games, and all, all our new products transfer to the digital age. Uh, when it transferred uh, from the, the uh, trans transactioning system uh, became operational, it was like nearly 20 years ago, uh, these four to five million lottery tickets had to be uh, Go, ha, had to go through a, a transactioning system. It was a huge number, a huge amount in that day. Uh, it was a huge challenge for the IT to create a high availability system which can process all those millions of tickets in like hours uh, from the closing of the, of the week to the, to the actual draw. Uh, so they built big monolithic systems. Actually, uh, all of our products or product lines are available offline. We have a lot of brick and mortar shops and partner shops and offline as well. And 38% uh, of our revenue is coming through the online, the electronic channels. But 100% of all our revenue is coming through our IT systems. Because if you enter a shop, you have a terminal, you have a point of sale, you have a tablet, you have you have a, a some electronic device which processes your transaction, which processes your uh, game, and it goes through the IT system and goes to our transactioning system and goes to our data warehouse. So 100% of our uh, revenue is coming through our IT systems, and when our IT systems are down, no revenue comes into the, uh, to the company. Okay? Uh, and this 38% was like 15 before the COVID. So in four years, it doubled in, in, uh, in, the, in the ratio and in the um, in amount, it more uh, than quadrupled. Okay, uh, for the sports betting side, we have a sports betting online platform in operation for 11 years now. And uh, it was an... Uh, on-premise system, high availability system, next to our lottery transactioning system, uh, but we completely reworked it uh, last year. Uh, the main reason for it was that uh, we had a monopoly on lottery and sports betting in Hungary for over 70 years, but last year it changed due to the legislative uh, environment in the European Union, so new participants entered uh, the market. But before, uh, we as a monopoly in online sports betting had a market share of uh, around 40, 45, 50% uh, and new uh, legally operating uh, contestants entered the field. So we had to uh, change our old, uh, not so, not, not so user-friendly, uh, not so visually enjoyable, and not so feature-perfect uh, system for a new one. And uh, the, the board of the company decided that we, we use, uh, may, maybe, maybe you, can, you can guess which, which company uh, delivered it, I, I cannot say it, uh, but a software as a service system. And it's in operation for seven months now. And it came with a whole lot of new features. And it's so enjoyable that the, the uh, revenue from that product doubled, more than doubled, week to week, uh, more than doubled uh, in the past uh, 10 months uh, since it's in operation. Uh, but it came with a cost. These costs are, uh, as we are operating the lottery systems and all our other, other products on our own system, and this new system uses a software as a service uh, in the cloud. Our user bases are separated and we have a huge, huge pro integration project in order for our users not to have two 
users, the two passwords, and two different pages to log in when they want to play sports betting and when they want to play our other uh, games. Uh, we have little to no control on the development. We have little to no control on handling the uh, incidents or, or anything like that. We are just using it. it. When it's down, it's down. We cannot really know what's happening and cannot really know what to do. We just uh, have to tell the provider and ask them uh, when it's going to be on again. Uh, and we need two of everything. We need two of the operations team. We, two, we need two of the incident management team. We, two, we need two of the level one uh, and, uh, and everything in operation. But, at, but all in all, uh, our company and our board is happy because we doubled the revenue on the online sports betting uh, product. Uh, and it came with a new application, and I actually checked it after uh, at, the, at the last presentation. And on the on the Apple App Store, it's on 1.7 stars, and on the Google Play, it's at uh, 2.1 stars. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, but two months ago, we launched a new product because uh, for for 10 years or, or the last 15 years since smartphones uh, are alive. Uh, there were legislative burdens from the and, and uh, regulatory burdens, and uh, the platform owners weren't happy about uh, setting up uh, applications for sports betting or, or, or lottery. So we had some workarounds, but we had no real application. So, as I mentioned, we have a new application for the online sports betting uh, provided by the software as a service uh, provider. Uh, for 10 months now, but we developed our new application, which is not sports betting and not lottery. It, it only helps the people know about the games and know about the uh, actual odds and, and, and how to play and prepare their, uh, their tickets. Uh, it has 4.5 stars, so uh, it's about the threshold uh, uh, in order to consider uh, to download. Uh, so it's, it's very successful and our, our fully operational uh, big application, which is, uh, which is going to be uh, ready for, for actually playing our games, uh, is en route. We have a small project uh, and it's, it's going to be, or it's planned to be operational uh, at, by the end of uh, 2025. Uh, it's, it's hard because we need two of everything. We, we need to develop new things, we need to develop new applications. Uh, we are more uh, successful with the, with, the, uh, with the products which we develop ourselves or which we handle ourselves or which we operate ourselves. Uh, but we, we have to transfer to the new age, to the software as a service era, to the cloud. We have to, we have to abandon a big high availability, geo, geographically redundant systems. And, uh, and we need two of everything because we have to develop the new applications, the, the new products, and we have to operate the systems we already have. And all the new developments from the, uh, from the market side, from the, from the sales side, have to be included in the old applications and in the, in the new as well. This costs a lot of money. And of course, we are land-based uh, as well. We have the biggest retail sy system network uh, in all Hungary with over 7,000 uh, point of sales and out of these 7,000 point of sales more than 260 are our own brick and mortar shops. Uh, as an IT director uh, there are some dilemmas which I already covered. Uh, I always have, <clears throat> uh, I always say that there are car manufacturers who make electric cars and there are electric car manufacturers uh, like you can see on the picture, there's a Tesla who is a, a new actor on the car market. They are, they are in, the, uh, uh, in the market for like 12 years now. And there's the Mercedes-Benz who also makes uh, electric cars, but uh, they are on the market for more than 100 years. Uh, I think this is a good uh, parallel for what we are thinking now. We are an old actor on the, on the market, uh, but we have to act like we are operating in the 21st uh, century. And I think uh, that's what I wanted to say in this little time. Thank you very much.